What's up, YouTube? Erod two one two here with another video. So went to a local toy show this weekend, and once again, we found some keys. All right, so uh, decided to past weekend to go to a local toy show. Uh, it had announced toys, Funkos, and some comics. So I said, you know what? Let me take a ride. Go go check it out. They had an early bird at 9 o'clock. So I said, you know what? I'll pay the extra $5 to do the early bird. Get in, see what books were out there. Uh, see, what, see what I could find out there. And, and it was a good show. Uh, my man Lone Wolf Comics was set up there. Uh, NRG Comics was set up there. And a bunch of other vendors that I know from locals, you know, local shows all the time. And what was really good is... It's the holiday season, so there were some really good deals to be made. Spend a hundred, get ten dollars off, you know, or ten percent off. Uh, I think it was like spend two hundred, get twenty percent off. Deals on slabs that would be put out there. Some people were blowing out some inventory. Great time for a buyer like myself to go out there and scoop up some books, and hopefully, uh, I'll show you what I want to do with two of these books. So we'll save that for the video. But you know what? Let me show you because there were some great Star Wars figures there and some other really nice vintage stuff. Let me show you what this was at. Like. All right, so you see, see all those crazy Star Wars are really nice. Uh, some, you know, fully enclosed uh, figures and everything else. It would have been nicer if they were unpunched, but you know what? You can't have everything. Uh, I think some of them were like 21 backs, I think they are, they're called for the Star Wars. After they went to 12, they went to the 21 or the 24 backs, whatever they are. But uh, there were some really good deals. Um, so I picked up this right here. Uh, X-Men number 103, a really nice, nice copy of this book. Um... Has definitely has some pressable defects that um, we could take care of. And then um, Amazing Spider-Man number 61. And this book is another candidate for a clean and press. But um, I got these books for, I want to say, 20% off the, what the uh, vendor had them. And they were fair prices. So super, super happy with that. Really, really good. And this is the first cover appearance of Gwen Stacy for you that don't know that. So although she's not a huge cover appearance there as compared to the MJ cover, this is Gwen Stacy's first cover. Uh, then there was a key that I can't pass up. Right price, right book, right condition. Uh, picked up a pretty nice, at least a 7 to a 7.5. 
copy of Daredevil 131. This is a book I believe in. I still think that this character will be seen again somewhere down the line. And uh, this first appearance of Bullseye, uh, an iconic Daredevil bronze key. Uh, this and Elektra, those two big keys for villains or characters that were developed out of the Daredevil series. Um, a definitely must have in everyone's collection. And that same vendor had uh, a book there and he gave me a phenomenal price on it. I appreciate you. Um, but I picked up a copy of Journey into Mystery Annual number one. It's probably like the 2.5. It has a spine split from about, about halfway down the book. It has a spine split, right? So the book is nice. So I would put it, if not for the spine split, it's probably like a 4.0. So I'm going to put it at about a 2.5, all right? Um, still, go take a look at the price on this book on the 2.5. Hercules is coming to the MCU. We saw him at the end of Thor. It's the best part of that movie. Get the introduction to Hercules. It's the guy from Ted Lasso, uh, who I really liked in the costume. I think he has the look. He can be Hercules. Maybe put a little more pounds on him. You know what? Quick little cycle. Never know. Guy could uh, become a buffed Hercules. So, Journey into Mystery Annual, number one. First appearance of Hercules. Uh, a great book. This was so underrated for a long time. And then... Let me show you uh, the last two books. So uh, it's two vendors that always get together, sell at, the, at these shows, and I buy from them all the time. Always give me fair prices. Guys are great. Excellent guys to talk to. So uh, they were telling me they waited almost a year for their CBCS slabs to come back. And what happens when you wait a year? Well, two things happen. If you send in some hot books, which is what happens to them, uh, that book might not be hot anymore. So let's say you send in a first Go to God Butcher, and it was a $350 book. Well, guess what? It's about a $125 book now in a 9.8. That's a big loss because you had to wait a year for them to process your books. Kind of shitty, man. I, I I don't know. I just don't like it. I, I, there's, I don't think there's any need to be that far backed up if you're a major corporation, but just my opinion, you know? Um, and uh, he had two books, or they had two books that they gave me at very, very fair prices. Um, I got one at over 25% below GPA and the other one I got, um, yeah, about 20%. So here's the first one. Now the thing with both of these books, so I picked up, I'll take it out the bag because you guys need to see this good. The first one is Tomb of Dracula. Number one, Bronze Age classic, um, Neil Adams cover, just a great read. The monster book of all the modern bronze, oh, the, of all the bronze mon monster books. This is the book for me. You know, everybody, this and the Blade are the two big books, you know. But this is a 4-5, and I think that this book can present better. I already see some pressable defects on the back of the cover, um... I, if I can get this up to a 5 or a 5.5, five, I would be real happy with that. Uh, but it, it's a nice little pet project to work on somewhere down the line in the new year. And then let me show you the last one. I, I reviewed this thing like five times while I was there on the show. And I couldn't find what the, the major defect was. And I, I still am not seeing it. Um, but let me show you the book. And I'll tell you why I picked it up even in this grade here. Because this is just a great book. But I picked up Batman number 608. This is the second print Jim Lee variant. We all know this is an iconic, iconic book. It came back a 9-0. This book is not a 9-0 at all, man. This thing is gorgeous. Um, I got to check and see if I can check the CBCS notes. I don't know if I can. But uh, I, I believe that this is going to be another candidate. Even if I can get this book up to a 9.2 and 9.4, I'm way ahead of the curve with the price that they gave me. So shout out to everybody at that show, giving great deals, just being great members of this comic community. And uh, appreciate everybody who's out there. Speaking of shows, uh, this weekend is that Arctic Blast show up in the Bronx. Um, I will be taking submissions there. So stop by. If you've got some books you want to get pressed, Come on down, say hello, Saturday, uh, up in the Bronx. It's going to be a, a, a great, great show with some great vendors. And uh, I'll be taking some submissions up there. You know what? Let's, let's, let's make it happen, all right? 
But yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, check out these videos because there's always great content in these. And until my next video, peace.